I want to share a little story with you about a little friend of mine, and her name is Safi. She was about six years old. And <coughs> her mother had a mango tree. And this is my little mango tree. <laughs> and on the mango tree, there were 10 mangoes. And Safi's mother said to her one day, Safi, I want you to go and pick the 10 mangoes and take them to your Aunt Amina, who is usually very kind to us. So Safi went out, and Safi picked mangoes. And she picked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mangoes. She looked into the tree, and she realized there were one, two, three more. So she knew right away she needed the other three to make 10 mangoes. So Safi had her 10 mangoes, and she started on her journey to Aunt Amina. On her way, she saw a pond, a pond with fish, a pond with lilies. Curious little girl as she was, what did Safi do? She didn't throw the mango into the pond, but she went to, she had a basket, and she went to look into the pond, and one mango fell out. So Safi stopped and she counted, she realized she had nine mangoes left. She continued on her journey, and up comes her friend from school. Her friend was eating a cookie, and offered Safi a cookie for two mangoes. <laughs> so Safi wanted the cookie, gave her friend two mangoes. As Safi continued on her journey, up came Mr. Bransdor, and chased Safi. So Safi tipped over, and the mangoes fell out. The dog ran away with one mango. As she was collecting the mango, she realized, the dog bet this one too, so I can't use that mango. So now she counted one, two, three, four, five mangoes. She said she's exhausted and she's tired now. Five, four, one mango doesn't make a difference. So she stopped, she ate her mango. <laughs> so now she had four mangoes left to continue on her journey. Just then, two young boys came up I guess about secondary school age, passed on the bicycle, saw the juicy mangoes, turned back, and they each grabbed a mango from Safi's basket. So now Safi was left with two mangoes. In continuing her journey, Safi decided the basket was looking too empty. So she stopped, and she picked some flowers. And she put her flowers in the basket. She took out the mangoes, rest them carefully picked flowers, decorated. Just as she reached for the mangoes, something bitter. They were ants on the mangoes. She had to drop the mangoes. Unfortunately, the mangoes fell in some cow dung. So she couldn't take those mangoes to Antonina. What should she do? She decided the basket looks pretty. I'm going to take the flowers to Antonina. She went, she gave Antonina the flowers, and Antonina said, oh, thank you, Safi. I have lots of mangoes on my tree. I want you to go and pick 10 mangoes and take them to your mother, who is usually very kind to me. That story of this story demonstrates that Safi was celebrating her childhood. She was using her innate culture to be creative, to be inquisitive and curious. She showed us in a practical way that she was learning about adding. She knew. She had seven, she needed three more. Subtracting, one mango fell, she had nine. She also learned about living things because she looked at the fish in the pond where they live. And she learned about respect for others because one of the things she said to the boys, I know your father, I'm gonna tell him. So she knew they were disrespecting her. She also used a little bit of creative problem solving on the spot because she had to decide, the basket doesn't look good, I need to put some more flour. Oh, they fell in, I can't use that. Without writing a thing, Safi indicated that she can count to 10. She can make 10 from two sets. Like Safi, many children around this age, five, six, seven, eight years old, are more interested in the process, what's happening now, than what is to come, making sure Aunt Amina got all 10 mangoes. So, one lesson that I want us to glean from this story is that neither teachers nor schools are crucial for learning to take place. 
one rationale often used by proponents of homeschooling. As one professor of mine remarked, children learn a lot more out of school than they would ever learn in school. 